We are on approach to Palette Prime, known for the warm orange and yellow foliage of its woodlands, its ambrosial pumpkin spice, and uplifting poetry. I've been waiting to visit for ages. The presence of dark mess energy on this planet has obstructed the natural active synthesis of anthocyanin pigments, leaving its forest canopies drab while its labyrinthian woods swallow visitors in a shroud of impenetrable darkness, where enchanted creatures observe and consider whether to help or to harm. Also, pumpkin spice is overrated. What genie? Was that a joke? What have you, leaf haloed and bosom friend? Arboreal wisdom to recommend? <laughs> Loyal beast, what solace do you bring? Arias of hope you hope to sing? Sing! <laughs> but what is this? Hope that flies on eagle's wings! Wow! Genie! What kind of approach was that? Did you optimize your landing protocols? Or did Rabbit Luigi spill chili on the orbiter controls again? The hard landing was caused by abnormal interference, not dark mess related, but perhaps dramatist related? Be gone, friends! Be gone! This is T.S. Woodrow, warden of Pallet Prime and locally famous amateur poet, mostly self-published. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Translation, the trees are being drained of the anthocyanin pigmentation and carotenoid compounds needed to change color. This is undoubtedly the work of a dark mess tentacle somewhere inside the spellbound woods. Requiem! Requiem! Elsewhere in the town plaza, villagers are being terrorized by a second tentacle and something else that's tearing it apart. However, the bridge to the plaza is destroyed. The only other access is through a secret passage underneath Woodrow's home. How did you get all that from a few lines of really depressing poetry? An analysis of all 7.643 of Woodrow's poems divulged his communication and thought patterns. I... I suppose I understand him. A forest befouled by dark mess? A village cut off and under siege? Oh, we're not going to have time to go to an apple pressing while we're here, are we? <laughs> 